So this is the slope of the, of the secant. And the process I just described over here with this limit applies not just to the whole line itself, but also in particular to its slope. And the way we write that is the limit as delta x goes to 0, and that's going to be our slope. So this is the slope of the tangent line. OK, now this is still a little, a little general, and I'm gonna, I want to work out a more usable form here. I want to work out a better formula for this. And in order to do that, I'm going to write delta f, the numerator, more explicitly here, the change in f. So remember that the point P is the point x0, f of x0. All right, that's what we got from our formula for the point. And in order to compute these distances, and in particular the vertical distance here, I'm going to have to get a formula for Q as well. So if this horizontal distance is delta x, then this location is x0 plus delta x. And so the point above that point has a formula, which is x0 plus, uh, sorry, plus delta x, f of, and this is a mouthful, x0 plus delta x. All right, so there's the formula for the point Q. Here's the formula for the point P. And now I can write a different formula for the derivative, which is the following. So this f prime of x0, which is the same as m, is going to be the limit as delta x goes to 0 of the change in f. Well, the change in f is the value of f at the upper point here, which is x0 plus delta x, and minus its value at the lower point, p, which is f of x0, divided by delta x. All right, so this is the formula. I'm going to put this in a little box because 